What's going on, everybody? Another day, another tattoo vlog. We're here with Tango, and in the last video, we did a half sleeve with a Hanya mask. Mm -hmm. And in today's video, we're gonna continue it with the wolf mask that's behind us. I just wanna give you something. Okay. Uh, I created this. Let me show you guys. The front says ink vested, and then the back is a uh, silhouette picture design of me in my car. Hey, that's <laughs> lit. <laughs> So I just, I made only a few of this just to like give to friends and clients and stuff like that. So I made sure that you get one of the Thank first you, one. appreciate it. I'll be rocking this for the next video. Yeah. And I also got you a SJ hat. This one's dropping already. It's gonna be dropped by the time that this video drops, but that's uh, the Sick. SJ hat right there. Custom. That's the Ao Yai material, oh, dude. Oh shoot. <laughs> Writings inside, fresh hat. Stitching, lots of detail on this hat. Thank you, bro. Yeah, no problem. All right, let's put this aside and let's get started. The last time we started with the art piece, what was it, a Hanya mask? Hanya mask. And then we added background. And then today, we're gonna extend that Hanya mask design to a full sleeve. This is the design we're gonna create today. We took this picture right off the wall and I wanna show Alex how to convert this to a tattoo stencil and put background and turn this whole piece whole project to a full sleeve. I noticed that when you do your brush strokes, like if it's a long piece, there's a certain sw swiggle line that you do. Yeah. And it's like everywhere that you do it. Once you draw a lot, you will learn how to break down lines to your hand. Like say your hand can pull two inch, you're gonna pull the best two inch and stop there. And then instead of drawing a straight line, you kind of make it a little curve again. So it mm -hmm. kind of live, give it a little texture instead of a straight line. I noticed that because when I was trying to draw the last Hanya mask, if I do one line that's full, it looks kind of ugly. But then when you do it, you kind of break it up. You do like a little ending on it. Yeah, so that's like, like a, a style. Like I'll pull the line to where I know that when I tattoo will give me best line because that's naturally that when you draw it, it's like, that's what yeah. I'm trying to practice yes. too, but I noticed that. Yeah, so that's what I do. So when I'm tatting or something, it's like, I know I can pull this line because my hand can do that every time. It's like, boom, practice, practice, you know what I mean? This one, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna examine it real quick. So I dim the opacity down, right? I'm just gonna draw this like how I would for myself. Okay. So I'm gonna make a lot of changes right now. Mm, okay. Right from the start. Okay? Perfect. Just to show you like, once this is how I want it to look and then turn it to add background and put it up to somebody. Okay. Maybe on the next video, once we start, we already have the half sleeve design mm -hmm. and then we're gonna create this for the arm that you should, we should have someone in here as a model and we you stencil on them and I'll show you how to stencil oh, okay. yeah, the I'm piece down, on I'm there. down for that. That's pretty cool, yeah. right? That's a three step process right there. All right, let's do that on the next one. But I'm glad you kind of noticed that stroke. Some people don't notice it, and it, it doesn't allow you to improve from it. It looks like a super long S, almost. Yep, and that's all my stroke. That's my style of work. Like, that's what I trained my hand to do. Like right there, that was an S right there. Exactly. It's definitely harder not to have to zoom. So for the last video, when we did the time lapse, when Tango's drawing, he does a lot of twisting and turning and zooming in, zooming out. So when I do the time lapse, it looks a little crazy. For this video, we're trying to do it in a way where it looks a little bit cleaner for you guys. But Slow down a little bit. You're and still gonna to... have to do that though. Like, yeah, a little bit. I will turn, I'll make it a little bit better. How do you guys enjoy these last couple videos? I know we probably haven't posted yet, but we are eventually gonna start posting. Let us know what you think about them in the comment section down below. Cause right now I think we're maybe on our fifth or sixth video. Yeah. And we're, we're stockpiling everything. So we could drop these consistently for you guys. We would either film before I work, which is like 9 a.m. Or we will film like right now, like it's what, almost seven o'clock at night. I worked all day. Then like, yo Alex, we still got to get this video in. So it's like, it puts a lot of pressure on like just the, our days are longer due to now adding this in and you know, I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, you know, if you guys enjoy it, we'll have more videos. When I was drawing the last mask, the teeth are pretty hard. Teeth, yeah. It's like, 
it's a weird shape. It, it can't be too triangle, and then it can't be too round. You will get used to it. <laughs> I mean, like the, the, these strokes and these things, I done it so many times where it's like, I can manipulate it to make it work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When like you get used to certain things and you see someone struggling, and they're like, oh, can't do it, can't do it, but just not because I'm any better. It's just I had more. Experience. More experience, yeah. That's where, like, people always ask me, it's like, don't you gotta, like, know how to draw to become a tattoo artist? To me, it's like, I didn't really know how to draw when I first started out. Drawing is like reading and writing, you know, the more you read, the, the better more, you like, you can read really fast and it flows. But if you don't read, it's like, I can't read, dude. <laughs> I'm a terrible reader. Okay. So if you ask me to read something, like, uh uh, f that. I'll draw you something, bro. But since we've been like shooting videos together weekly, man, I feel so like confident talking on camera now. Cause before this, like I tried mm -hmm. to like hold like, you know what I mean? As everyone like watching enough YouTube, you're like, yo, I wanna be vlogging <laughs> my life. I'm gonna be interesting. And I was like, oh shoot. <laughs> it's oh hard, God. It's hard when you first start. I can't do it. So I spent months and months and months. And then uh, finally, like I feel like, I don't care about the camera no more. It's just, it's it's just, just there. It's just there and that like, and it really helps talking to somebody because if you're mm -hmm. just standing there by the tree and you're like, hey guys. You're talking to yourself. Welcome That's to my vlog <laughs> three. I'm shaky, I don't know what to say. It, it has helped, so it, it really opened up like, you know what I mean? That's good. That's that's like the practice too. Just like drawing, you gotta just keep. But I'm sure now if you look back at video one and I look at right now video six or seven, it's like, yo, we're next to now joking around. And so if you ever think about like becoming a vlogger like the journey of like holding a camera to your face and you feel super uncomfortable, that's natural. Oh, Give yeah. yourself a six months to a year. You know what's even worse? Doing it in public when people are watching I, you. I can't do it in public yet. <laughs> you know what was really weird? I was, like when I tattoo, I tell my clients about like how that day we shot in the mountain, that, that last vlog mm -hmm. about the, our cars, we drove the mountain. And I was like, I felt uncomfortable because you guys both had cameras to your face. Like, oh, yeah. You guys are both vlogging and I'm standing there like, what's going on? <laughs> I'm just standing here and it's like, dude, that's super awkward. Like, you know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta put yourself in the right place. Mm. It's like, if you're the only one holding the camera and everyone's staring at you, it's awkward. But if you're the only one not having a camera, like vlogging yeah. while everyone's Makes vlogging, that's weird. super weird too. So <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. And now you have your camera. I, I got a camera. I was using my phone. <laughs> for the longest time. It's like, I don't need a camera, but uh, still new with camera. He's gonna help mm. me set up. He's gonna, I'm still new. I just pressed the red button, just like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> but I have been making a few vlogs on my own. That's good. Which Alex is gonna help me with the process of editing and everything. And uh, I will have some content on my, my, my YouTube too. Which will be linked down below. You yeah, check that nothing out. is, no, no <laughs> subscriber. It's okay, yeah, you gotta get us some subscribers, guys. So all these details that I'm doing is like, uh, like once you understand your style already, you start to style everything the way that your finger strokes. Mm -hmm. Style is in that, bah, you know what I mean? Like that little hook that you repeat. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what makes it unique in your own way, so. But so far, how do you feel about like, like our weekly lesson? Yeah, I look forward to it. I'm more confident now when I'm drawing, but now that I've been practicing, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm noticing more stuff than I did when I first started. All right, so uh, we got our uh, first layer done. And now I'm gonna make a little bit more changes to mm -hmm. this piece. So uh, I wanna make it better. Usually I try to do not just one, like two to three. Just to like see how you want this image to look. See how I start moving, repositioning some of these lines. If you want your piece to look more aggressive, do more aggressive lines. 
Okay. Instead of super straight, like add more, add more like pivots to it. Look more aggressive just by changing up instead of a straight smooth line. I add, I did that. I wanted the teeth longer now. Now it looks more mean. Yeah. But your first layer, keep everything the same. What do you think? You want normal <laughs> human teeth or you want some teeth teeth? <laughs> you want aggressive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want Let's aggressive. Let's make it aggressive. Those are kind of human teeth? Yeah, because the they're like, like... square. I see them as like human teeth. See, look at this teeth now. See how it ended on the gums? Mm -hmm. now just pass it. Now I make the hair a little longer now, you know what I mean? Looking good so far, huh? It's so much harder to draw because I can't twist. So I'm like, oh man, so I'm trying to get used to this because if I start twisting, like you said, Alex said that like, it's hard for us to show you guys mm -hmm. the, the actual there's a lot of it. twisting, yeah. After I'm done with this, I have to now add on uh, details, details and, stuff. and that could be another layer. And as you get, you notice me drawing, I tend to not follow the same line. Mm -hmm. Once I make that stroke, the next layer is like, if you did the first layer, right, and you follow the same outline that you just did, what changed? Nothing. Nothing changed. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, well, he's like, oh, I extended the teeth to make it more aggressive. I changed the teeth instead of like human teeth in this picture into like some more fangs. Once you get the structural down, you have to be unique after. Mm -hmm. And it's not changing the whole complete area, it's extending or like retracting mm -hmm. that stroke. Okay, so this side of the eye is better. Mm -hmm. That looks cool. I would like it a little bit more aggressive, but we'll figure that out. This is where the next layer. I'm good with this right now, but I know it's not going to be the end. Looks a lot better than earlier, right? Just changing up good. the eyes and up everything. I'm pretty happy with the face. I'm a little bit okay with the eyes now, but the, the forehead needs something and the nose needs something. You still see him trying to find the middle. Mm. See, knowing that the middle is. Let's go with this design. I think that looked pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that looks really good. These little things, I'm referencing off of a Katsuni mask and these little details that I just added. Usually a Kasuni mask have that in red. Mm -hmm. So if I outline that and then add a red, a little red touch to the, the sleeve, it'll be pretty sick too. Or you can just black that out. It adds like, more flavor to yeah. it. Yeah. Because it was pretty empty before. Yep. All right, so now I'm pulling up the previous work that we have. It's a Hanya mask design. So I just uploaded the other piece right here. Pretty sick, <laughs> right? It looks pretty sick, huh? Check out this background. The background flowing like this. This hook right here, mm -hmm. that becomes over. This one you can stick behind mm -hmm. and have it go underneath the mask and come out of like right here and then into a cloud like that. See that? Mm -hmm. Or you can have it go right over, but I feel like the wave already went over the ear, and if you ran another one, this area might be a little bit too much to mm -hmm. a regular person's eye. Right. So you you don't want to like make it too aggressive where it like kind of like messes up the picture. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to pull out another peony to continue on. There it is. Because if you started with peonies, continue with peonies. This one will be overlapping it or underneath it. It's really up to you. You're the artist. Mm. Do you want to show the hair? 
or do you feel like the flower overlapping make it better to you? That's a question when you're working on the sleeve, you do. That I can't answer because what if you like it that way and I like it the other way? Look at that, tuck it underneath, still look really good. We only have room for, to add the mask and one flower. Next step is uh, add background and we're done with this, this connection, it's so right. simple. Let's do a wave right over. Up for grabs, baby, up for grabs. <laughs> but this is what I want you to do. Create everything, have the background, everything, mm -hmm. and put it with a reference. Put it up for grab on your page once you start tatting. Mm -hmm. It'd be really good portfolio, shows people your art. People that don't want this might hit you up, and like, hey, I want something similar to this. And they're gonna be like, I want a dragon, and a phoenix, mm -hmm. and then a koi fish. It has nothing to do with this, but they kind of see the concept that you're laying out. You can get a clients that would book you for this exact piece, or two, they just want a lower arm, and they're like, oh, I really like the lower part of the Katsuni the wolf mask, mm -hmm. or, you know, or I just want a half sleeve of the honey mask, or they want something completely, so it's like many angles on how people could approach you just by showing one piece like this. That's cool. And by the time you guys see this video, it'll probably be sold, but <laughs> you go on his I page. I can recreate this <laughs> yeah. in so many variation. It's, you know, I mean, it's what I do. Also, me and Alex don't just do this, the the art side alone we we go out to like we do the car side like you know i have my arc 7 hit them up we'll go drive the mound we'll vlog that so there's a lot of videos pop it's gonna be a lot of videos popping up soon maybe the fishing video will and yeah soon. we're planning a, a fishing video i want to take out he never caught a fish before and we we're drawing the koi <laughs> fish it's like dude you need to see fish in person that would be another vlog of Instead of drawing for that uh, that video, we're gonna be fishing. I'm gonna be teaching you how to fish. I'm not sure if he's gonna <laughs> catch anything or not, we're but we're just something. gonna be on the water enjoying it. It'll be pretty cool. We'll get to hang out outside of drawing. Something different, you it's know? It's coming, just, just subscribe. Subscribe and stay tuned. Yeah. We'll see you guys very soon for the next video. We're out, peace.